of texts from politicians all pushing their own perspective in their program and spinning you. But this one was very different. It was from the lieutenant governor of Texas, Dan Patrick, who's been on this show before. He sent something very long and thoughtful, and I just want to share part of it here because it's worth hearing. And he wrote this, quote, I don't pretend to be speaking for everyone 70 plus, but I think there are lots of grandparents out there who would agree with me that I want my grandchildren to live in the America I did. I want them to have a shot at the American dream. But right now, this virus, which all the experts say that 98 percent of all people will survive, is killing our country in another way. It could bring about a total economic collapse and potentially a collapse of our society. So I say, let's give this a few more days or weeks. But after that, let's go back to work and go back to living. Those who want to shelter in place can still do so. But we can't live with this uncertainty. Governor Patrick, uh, Lieutenant Governor Patrick agreed to join us tonight. We're happy that he did. Lieutenant Governor, thanks so much for coming on. So you sure, made clear, and I didn't, I wanted you to say this and not me, but you made clear in this letter that you sent that you're in the category of people who face real risk from this disease. And I thought that kind of put it into perspective a little. If, would you explain that? Yeah, I turned 70 next week, Tucker. And, uh, you know, I sent you a note about a week ago that something has been really heavy on my heart since this started. And, uh, you know, so I'm automatically in the high risk pool. Uh, you know, and I'm as lieutenant governor, I work 12 or 15 hours a day, mostly from home now, but I travel when I need to. Uh, I'm living smart, listening to the president, the CDC guidelines, like all people should, but I'm not living in fear of COVID-19. What I'm living in fear of is what's happening to this country. And, you know, Tucker, no one reached out to me and said, uh, as a senior citizen, uh, are you willing to take a chance on your survival in exchange for keeping the America that all America loves for your children and grandchildren? And if that's the exchange, I'm all in. Um, and that doesn't make me noble or brave or anything like that. I just think there are lots of grandparents out there in this country, like me, I have six grandchildren, that what we all care about and what we love more than anything are those children. And I want to you know, live smart and, uh, and, and see through this, but I don't want the whole country to be sacrificed. Uh, and, I, and that's what I see. I've talked to hundreds of people, Tucker, and just in the last week. and. Uh, making calls all the time. And, and everyone says pretty much the same thing, that we can't lose our heart about. And what we love more than anything are those children. And I want to, you know, live smart and, uh, and, and see through this, but I don't want the whole country to be sacrificed. Uh, and, I, and that's what I see. I've talked to hundreds of people, Tucker, in just in the last week, and uh, making calls all the time. And, and everyone says pretty much the same thing that we can't lose our whole country. We, we're having an economic collapse. I'm also a small businessman, I understand it. And I talk with business people all the time, Tucker. And, and I'm so, my, I'm just, my heart is lifted tonight by what I heard the president say, because we can do more than you know, one thing at a time. We can do two things. So, you know, my message is that um, let's get back to work. Let's get back to living. Let's be smart about it. Uh, and those of us who are 70 plus, we'll, we'll take care of ourselves, but don't sacrifice the country. Don't do that. Don't ruin so this great American So you're basically dream. saying that this disease could take your life, but that's not the scariest thing to you. There's something that would be worse than dying. Yeah. Um, and look, I'm going to do everything I can to live. But, you know, I, if you said, are you willing to take a chance? Um, and you know, and if I get sick, I'll go and try to get better. But if I don't, I don't. And, I, and I'm not trying to think in any kind of morbid way, Tucker. But I'm just right. saying that that um, we got a choice here, and and we're going to be in a total collapse, recession, depression, collapse in our society if this goes on another several months. There won't be any jobs to come back to for many people. So. Uh, I'm going to be smart. I think all of my, my fellow grandparents out there are going to be smart. We all want to live. We want to live with our grandchildren as long as we can. But the point is, our biggest, our biggest gift we give to our, our country and our children and our yeah. grandchildren is the legacy of our country. And right now, that is at risk. And I feel like, as the president said, the mortality rate is so low. Do we have to shut down the whole country for this? I think we can get back to work. And, and I think we should wait out his time. And if he yep. says we need another week, I trust his judgment. But we have to have a time certain. We can't say in three months or six months or 12 months, right. these businesses can't wait that long. So 
Um, Tucker, I, I intend to be governor, around a long time on your show, but but um, it's it's worth I whatever it takes be. to save the country. Hey, thanks, Tucker. And I and I'm. I'm